Hiya, welcome back. Well, what can I say? It has been an absolute age since I last got out. Uh, as you can probably tell from the background, we're at Beadnell. Uh, I thought I would just come out for a banker trip, really, rather than uh, try anywhere new or, or travel, just because it's nice to get the, the kayak wet and maybe catch a few fish. Um, I do have a little bit of time off at the moment, so uh, I'm planning on getting out a few times this week, and then I'm heading west next week, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be plenty of content to come. Uh, the usual here at Beedon, we're going to head out to the rough ground in between the Newton Boy and the Point. We've got the soft plastics on, we're going to drift up and down there on the last of the flood tide, see if we can't catch some cod, some pollock, some wrasse, maybe a bonus ling, and we'll probably get a few coolies as well. I'll see you over there. Right, so here we go. First drop in absolutely ages. I'm so excited, man. It's taken all my patience to wait until I get out to my mark, because uh, the temptation is just to stop wherever you are soon as you get close to it and see if you can't catch a fish but uh, it's been an absolute age so I've been a good lad I've steamed all the way out to my first mark uh, we're going to ride the last of this flood tide back towards the Newton boy hopefully we'll grab a few fish eh? get in I'm so excited you can probably tell oh in oh I just got hit straight away that was hilarious oh I'm getting banged Yes, we got one. Yes, brilliant. Straight away. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's been ages since I've had my string pulled. Get in. Oh, this is fantastic. What a start. What have we got? It's a cod. Get in. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Look at that. That wasn't bad, was it? We've only been here five minutes. Right. There you go. I'll give you a quick look at him and we'll get down and we'll get his big brother, eh? See you, pal. Oh, that's fantastic. He's absolutely knackered me lure already, though. Never mind. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. We're just slowly retrieving that up there. I wonder what this is. It's going a bit scatty. I wonder if it's just a very spirited codlin or, or what? What have we got? There's only one way to find out. I'll take my time just in case it's a wrasse. But I don't think it is. It is a foul hooked codlin. Well, he was wrapped up in the line. There we go. There's another one in the bag then, eh? Not a bad start. Right, we'll get this fella unhooked and we'll get him away. He's got quite sharp teeth. Oh, there we go. Just a little chap, but uh, very happy to see him and full of energy. Right. Let's get straight back down there, see if we can't get another one. Could do with a nice big pollock today, I think. As has been the case here at Beadnell for me for the last two years, um, big pollock have been hard to come by. I'm not saying other people aren't catching them, but for me personally, Hasn't been anything like it was the three or four years before that. Oh, are we in? Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. It's been quite some time. Well, I say that. Half an hour, maybe, since we had a fish. I think this was probably on for a little while. I just wasn't concentrating. I kept thinking I was uh, bottoming, bottom, bottoming out. But we've got it now. Get it up and have a look at it. What on earth is it? What on earth is it? It is a Pollock. <laughs> not a terrible one either. I mean, not the biggest I've ever caught, but nice to nice to see him. Right, we'll get him uh, unhooked and we'll get him away. Give you a look at them. Don't. Oh, oh. Well, definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be one of my videos without a bit of fish juggling. Cool as ever. Oh, we're in. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's a few fish over that feature now. I think we'll be drifting that again.
What have we got? I think it's going to be the same again, you know. No. Nope. Little Pollock. A uh, little cod, I should say. Let's uh, get him up and we'll get him back. There you go. Perfectly formed. Little beaut. Ooh. Just missed it. Got that one. Oh, oh no, that felt better as well. Oh, damn it. Oh, did it come back? It did, and I missed it. Damn it. Come on. Oh. Felt like the best fish so far today, that one. Yes. <laughs> We've got another go at it. <laughs> On one of its pals anyway. This feels like a cod. Come on. Excellent. Well, we've hit a little run of fish over this ground, haven't we? Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Here he is. Well, that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. Right, let's uh, give you a look at him. Let me have a little bit of slack here and then uh, we'll unhook him. He's got a few of his pals showing on the sounder there. There he is. Ow! Oh, more cuts on my finger. Right, I'm not going to hang around because there's a load of fish on the sounder. So there he is. He's slightly unceremoniously uh, dumped back in the sea, but. He's knacked me bloody lure. Let me get this right. Get back down there and catch a few more. There we go. Right, there's a few fish left in this lure. But I think I may have gone over the top of that shoal. We'll get back down there. Give it a shot anyway. It's been a really nice bit of ground, this. Oh, we're in. Yeah. <laughs> Took us on the drop, that fella. Fantastic. Let's get him up. Brilliant. Oh, there we go. There's a few fish down there now, just coming over the top of a big pinnacle. There he is. A bit smaller than the last one. Quite a bit smaller, but uh, we're still very happy to see him. All right, see you, pal. That ground looks awesome. Oh, there are so many features here. We're up and down continuously. <laughs> Flies are doing me head in. Got a bit of. Nine off there. Right, I'm bound to catch a fish now, aren't I? Bound to, well, I've got my braid wrapped around my rod. Oh, I have. I've caught a bloody fish. Braid is wrapped around me rod. You knew it, didn't you? You just knew that was coming. Right. <laughs> oh, are we ready to bring this in yet? Just about. No, I still haven't quite got the loop out the end. Bear with us. Good job it's not an absolute monster or anything. There we are. We're good there now. Oop. Right, let's get them up. <laughs> what a carry on. Got a fly on the end of my nose and everything. Just had a little loop in my braid there, so I had to take a little bit off the spool. And of course, fish took us right at the least convenient moment. And there he is, another one. Fantastic, man. Great sport out here today. I think the barb might have popped up a little bit on that hook. I'll have to sort that out again in a moment. But if you bear with us, pal, we'll get you away. There you go. The little spider webs all over me face as well. Dead cool me, like. 
Goodness me. Bleeding. Things I do for you, eh? Covered in spiders, cobwebs, my own blood and codge. Oh, Jesus, look at that. And all over me bloody drink. Oh, no. Oh, man. Missed that one. Let's have another go. It just had another peck. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> well, I wonder if this could be a ras. If it is, hopefully if we take our time, we'll get it back in a one-er. Might be a small pollock as well. But you know, knowing my uh, fish predicting skills, it could well be a codling. Let's get it up and have a look at it anyway. It's calmed down a bit now, which leads me to think it might be a ras. We'll just take lots of time with it. Just in case. It's not a ras. It's coddling. <laughs> there he is. Just came to make us look daft, this fella. There you go. It's a little bit scabby, him. No offence, like. Hopefully he'll be all right. I think there's one or two more fish left in this lure. Get it straight back down there because there are fish on the sounder again. Well, it's been a productive drift this. Right, so I've had my sandwich, sorted my camera out. I'll tell you what, I'm excited to start this drift again because uh, the last one was canny good, wasn't it? So I'm sticking with the same lure. I mean, why not? It's working. Um, I've got a load of other lures with us as well, which I'm going to have a little go of later on but for now we're going to stick with the sidewinder the rhubarb and custard sidewinder because it seems to be doing a good job could do with a few slightly bigger fish but i'm not going to complain oh someone had a little touch something had a little go oh that wasn't a little go <laughs> have we still got it yeah not quite sure what this is <laughs> But it certainly wanted this lure. It wasn't messing around him, was he? I'm aware the uh, fish is pulling the kayak into the sun there. There you go. A little. Jeez Louise, coolie. There he is. Oh, more water in my eyes. Oop. Right, nice chap, see you later. He was uh, keen to get away, wasn't he? Come on, let's get something half decent. Oh, oh, I missed it. Yeah, got that one. <laughs> it's crackers out here today. Oh, I think it's got itself wrapped up that whatever it was because it was quite scatty to start off with and now it's gone into a bit of a solid lump Let's take me time with it What is it the water is lovely and clear I can see a little bit of color It's a codlin that got wrapped up. That's what happened there There we go it's uh, caught with a few lures this, a few fish, sorry, this lure so far, hasn't it? Oh, he's twisted himself around and not made life easy for himself. Right, still got another fish in it? Way oh, aye. One more, I think. It's very close to snapping at the back there. But I'm getting my money's worth. I'll tell you that for now. Listen, do us a favour, would you? And, uh head on over to the Facebook page and give that a like. On the Drop Fishing on Facebook, we're, uh, we're growing quite a community over there. We're nearly at a thousand people on there. Um, it's a nice friendly place for a chat, you know, troll free zone. So uh, yeah, get on over there on the Drop Fishing on Facebook and give that a like. I'd appreciate that very much. I was gonna say there's a load of fish down there. I can see them on the sounder. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is all right. This isn't too bad. Get in. Oh, fish of the day so far, I think, unless I foul hooked it. 
Feels like a cod. Give a good first tug there, didn't it? Still, still a bit hefty now. Let's get it up. Let's have a look at it. Where are you? Here he is. Oh, that's a beaut. That's a beauty. A quite a sizable head on him. There you go. They're getting a little bit bigger, aren't they? Excellent. Right. We'll get him unhooked. I'll point the danger end away from us. Just snap it in the top. I'm going to have to crush this barb down again. I think it's popped up a bit. Oops. There we go. He's out. Just stay still and I'll show you to everyone at home. There you go. Not quite as big as we first thought, but uh, he's a powerful lad. He's got a big fat belly. Come on, get your fins up. Nah. Right. See you later. He's got a massive head. That's where his weight was. I know a few of you might be saying the same thing about me, like, but, you know. Nope, we're in. Does that technically count as trolling because I was turning the kayak around? I don't know. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh, get in. Get in. We've had, we're having a busy day, aren't we? Oh, nice. Nice. Another pollock is very lightly hooked, so I'm just going to Get me hand in his gob before before we lift him up. There he is. He's all right, isn't he? See you, pal. It's a couple of pollock we've had today, then. Yeah. Oh gosh, what is this? Felt like a mackie when it hit. Wonder if it's a little cooly. Oh gosh, or a little pollock maybe. <laughs> certainly having a go now. <laughs> it's not a big fish, but very spirited. We'll see. Might be a ras, you know. I'll take my time. Just let it uh, chill out on the way up. It is a ras, I was right. Okay. There he is. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little thing. There you go. He's an absolute beaut, isn't he? See if we can get this off with the old shaker row at the side of the kayak rather than bringing them in. There we go. When the rasp come vertically up, so we're in 18 metres of water, they don't handle it very well. And the problem with rasp being spiky and having big teeth is you've got to hold them quite firmly when you're unhooking them. And uh, that just adds to the misery for them when they're already um, bloated off the uh, change in pressure when they come up. So what I've started doing recently is trying to release them at the side of the kayak. Just give you a quick look, then pop them straight back in. Oh, oh missed it. Oh, I got that. Gosh, that feels like the same again. Another ras. Definitely feels like a ras. <laughs> again, we'll just keep the line tight. And we'll get it up. Yeah, I think it is a ras. And we'll just take our time. Let it get accustomed to the depth change and we'll try and shake it off at the side of the kayak again. If it is a ras. Which I'm fairly confident it is. But you know, I'm often wrong. What have we got? Let's have a look. Nope, not a ras. <laughs> ah, it's just an excited codlin. Oh, he's absolutely wrecked me brand new lure. Little twerp. Lua's had two fish on it. Crikey. Look at that. Cheeky devil. There he is, the little lure wrecker. Right, can I save that? If I had brought me super glue, it wouldn't be a problem, but I haven't. But I think... We might be all right. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we're in. 
brilliant. <laughs> I don't think it's the pollock we were looking for. It's quite scatty, I think it may be. I don't know what it is actually. Well, we'll just get it up and have a look at it instead of trying to guess, eh? I think it's wrapped itself up whatever, up whatever it is because it's coming up like quite a dead weight now. Let's get it up, have a look at it. I'll just get the camera out the sun for you. Is. Oh, not too bad. There you go. It's a little beauty, innit? Gosh, there's an absolute shed load of fish underneath us. You can see them on the sounder there, so I'm just going to get him back pretty quick and I'm going to go straight underneath. I'm not going to cast this one out. I'm just going to go straight underneath myself and see if I can't uh, get involved with that. Whatever it is. Oh, damn it. Always the case, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to head back to the beginning of that drift, but whilst we're, whilst we're heading over there, uh, just an apology of sorts, really, for how quiet the channel's been this year. Um, it's, it's through no fault of my own. I've just been really busy with work, and every time work has eased off a little bit, the weather's been absolutely atrocious, and I'm sure a lot of you have found yourself in the same boat as well. You know, when you get the, the weekend off or a few days off midweek, suddenly the wind comes up out of nowhere. But I do have a quiet a sort of two or three weeks coming up, so I'm out today. I'm going to try and get out again this week and then next week once I've got the van MOT'd I'm going to head on over to the Muller Galloway and see if I can't pull a few nice pollock up over there at Port Logan and maybe Port Patrick, a few places like that. Anywhere you'd like to suggest please uh, just let us know in the comments down below. And uh, before we get over there uh, do us a favour would you subscribe to the channel. Uh, very few of you who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel and uh, I would really appreciate it if you just took a little moment now to go and do that for us because uh, it makes a massive difference to YouTube's algorithm, how many new and different viewers YouTube chooses to show your video to, that sort of thing. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's go over at the beginning of this drift and uh, see if we can't pull a few more fish in. See you over there. You can see the fish on the sounder, but they're not hitting me lure yet. Come on. Got it! <laughs> I could see the fish down there. I thought it would be a matter of time. But I'm absolutely covered in those little cobwebs. Right, so this is pulling the camera around into the sun, but there's kind of not a lot I can do about that when the sun's low in the sky. Hopefully you'll still be able to see us. It's another codlin. It's not too bad, that one. Right, there you go, little beauty. You just hold your horses, I'll point the danger end away from us. I never learn my lesson really, do I? I'll get this hook out and we'll pop them. Whoa, straight back. See you, pal. Yes, we're in. <laughs> I knew we'd get one eventually. Gosh, we've had so many hits with no fish. It's been some really big schools of smaller fish uh, hanging around the pinnacles, but at last we've managed to hook something. Can't complain, it's been a really busy day, hasn't it? You never guess what it is. It's another codlin. <laughs> Come on, pal, let's get you up. There he is. What a lovely chap. Oh. In a bit of a mood. There we go. There he is. Angry that fella. Got the dolphins behind us. It is. Look at that. How beautiful are they? How beautiful. Putting on a real show over there. The dolphins are miles away from them, like, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna head on over there and try and catch up with them or anything. Gosh, but we do love them. Beautiful things. Right, come on, let's get a, a very large pollock because we do love those as well. They are also things of beauty. 
I mean, 16 and a half meters of water here. This drift, um, it's beautiful because it goes over so many different depth changes. And when there's not much wind and the tide's not massive, it's like a, a reasonably small-ish tide today, oh, um, you can drift over it for a good 40, 45 minutes. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. I wonder what this could be. It's not happy about being caught, I'll tell you that. Where are we in? 17 metres of water. Just take me time. Just in case. What is it? What is it? Let's get it up. It's a coddling. There we go. Got his mouth open. Fabulous. Another perfectly formed little butte. See you, pal. Absolutely stacks of those around at the minute. Like I say, it'd be nice to get one of the bigger ones, but I'm not complaining, you know. After months of not being able to get out, it's just gorgeous to be catching consistently. He's going straight back down to the bottom there. Beautiful. Oh, straight in. <laughs> oh, we lost it. Let's drop it back down, see if we can get him to have another go. Nah. Blue what chance with that fella. Oh, hey. Sun's really low in the sky. Oh, look at that. Did you see those there? <laughs> I hope you saw those. Well, there's two. There's normally five or six more. Gosh, I love the dolphins. I really do. I think that might have been it. Oh, we got it. Yes. I think this is going to be a pollock. But then again, I should really stop trying to predict what's on the end of my line. Because when they're all in that sort of pound and a half range, could be anything really. What are you? You're a ras. You're a little old ras. Oh, what a beauty. Absolutely gorgeous looking thing, that. Again, I'll just uh, give you a quick look. We're only in 15 metres of water, so it should go back all right. And I'll try my best just to get it off. Like that. Come on. Nope. Right, we're going to have to bring him on board because he doesn't want to go that way. Be nice and careful. Get this out. There we go. There we go. What a little beauty. Look at the dolphins over there. They're going crazy. See you, pal. Oh, this is just beautiful, man. Yes! Oh, no, that felt great. Oh, no. Oh, come back and have another go, please. Yes. Probably not the same one. Oh, it might be. No, it doesn't feel as big as the one I've just lost, but anyway, I'm happy to get it. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh, that felt really good, that one before. Absolutely slammed the rod down. There's like a difference, you know, you just feel the heft. I'm sure this is gonna be nice. It's an absolute beaut. Look at this fella. Look at him, he's all right. Nothing too shabby there. It's not the one that hit his first time though. I'm pretty certain about that. 
but uh, it's a bit bigger than we've been getting, isn't he? See you, pal. Oops. Oh, mucky duck. Well, it's safe to say I got a little bit distracted there by the dolphins. I've been uh, hanging out with them for about half an hour. They are absolutely beautiful, man. Have a look at this. I absolutely love them. I really do. Right, back to the fishing. Uh, it's about quarter two, so maybe I'll stay out for another hour. Clocks went back yesterday, so I don't want to be out too much after that because it'll start to get dark. But uh, time to catch a few fish. Oh, I missed it. Missed that one too. What's going on, yeah. Got that one. <laughs> Brilliant. What a fantastic day I've had. Almost at Fisher Drop, the dolphins, the weather's been glorious. Oh man, almost makes the months of waiting worthwhile. What with the weather and work and everything. Fantastic. Just a little chap, but very happy to see him. Feeling very chilled after hanging with the dolphins. Stay still. Stay still and we'll get you out. Pop the barb down a bit on this one again. Get it out, it's stuck right in there. Tough bit, there he is. Unharmed. I'll just give this barb a little squash. Make life a bit easier. Uh, I'm just going to go and have a little mooch around some ground which is uh, just off the point. It's only about, oh, I want to say, two or three hundred yards off the point and it's just a little patch of sort of rough kelpy ground surrounded by absolutely nothing. Quite often throws up a few fish and there's normally a few pollock hiding in there. Uh, so we're going to give that a little shot and then we're a little bit closer to home as well for when we're, we do decide to call it a day. I'll see you at the other end. Right, so it's pretty rough around here so I'm going to have a little chuck about see if we can't bring something in so as you can see I'm really close to the point uh, if you had a good 300 yard cast you could uh, get into here no bother I will get that over there I mean that definitely wasn't a 300 yard cast but uh, we'll get down there and see if we can't grab something it looks nice I like it I like the way it looks so let this get to the bottom and then we'll just uh, drag it slowly through the weed. That's the wonderful thing about fishing weedless, which I nearly always do, is you can do that. You can just bounce it along the bottom. Doesn't mean you never get snagged, but it certainly makes a big difference fishing weedless for me anyway. Yes, we're in! <laughs> Brilliant! Just dragging it up the side there. Dragging it up the edge of that drop off. And we've managed to get ourselves a fish. I don't know what we've got yet, mind. Brilliant. Well, that was the plan. And it's paid off. Yeah, I love doing this when it's slack water, just parking over something and casting around. Oh, I've got a sore arm now. I've caught a few fish today, haven't we? It's been non-stop. There we go. 
Oh, that's quite a dark cod, that. Almost a kelpie. Look at the different colour on that one compared to the rest we've had today. Right, he's not in the greatest of nicks. Some of his fins are looking a bit bare. But we'll not mess about with them. We'll give you a quick look because his colours are nice. And we'll get him back. Right, that's it. I'm going to call it a day. It's been absolutely fantastic, man. I've loved every minute of it. I mean, we haven't broken any records or anything, but we've caught consistently on every drift. Fish after fish, fish a drop at times, and uh, to hang out with the dolphins as well, man. That was just the icing on the cake. It's been beautiful weather as well. You can't ask for more. Do us a favour, would you, and subscribe to the channel. Yep, I'm banging on about it again. But as I say, it really does make a huge difference to that YouTube algorithm. So go and do that now. Thank you very much. Something else that really helps, of course, is a thumbs up. So please give it one of those if you've enjoyed the video, or even if you haven't. And uh, please leave us a comment down below. Uh, ask us a question, suggest a venue. Just say hello, anything you like. I'll catch you next time.